I do a live stream every Saturday night where I answer your questions about live streaming. And I get a lot of questions about lag, bad audio, choppy audio, choppy frames, choppy streams, things like this. So today I wanna show you how to troubleshoot what's going wrong on your stream and walk you through some steps on how you can fix it. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. There is nothing more frustrating when you're live streaming than getting buffering or drop frames or choppy audio, things like that. But a lot of people have no idea how to figure out what's actually causing the problem. After you watch this video, you're gonna know what's causing the problem, and you're gonna have a pretty good idea of whether you can fix it or not. So let's jump right into OBS and get started. Before we get started, we need to give you a way to actually visually see what is going on with your live stream. And so to do this, we're going to go up to View, and we're going to select Docs, and we want the Stats Doc. Sometimes this Stats Doc, when it first appears, is just going to be a window over top of your OBS, you can just drag it and drop it into any location on your screen. I usually like to have mine above my image. Once we have this up here, this is going to tell us exactly what's going wrong with our stream. Here we are in OBS. If you've seen my live streams, you recognize this is my same overlay that I always use. I broadcast in 1920 by 1080, so that is the settings that I have right now. Let's go live and see what happens with just my standard overlay setup. You can see right off the bat, if I sway from side to side with my camera, we're already getting some encoding lagging. That means that frames are being dropped on my live stream. So how do you know whether it's a connection problem or a computer problem? Well, that one's really easy to troubleshoot. If you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, you see it's green. I'm producing at a specific bit rate and we're not dropping any frames. That tells me that my actual connection to the internet is capable of sustaining the output that I'm giving it. On the other hand, you can see when I scroll up and look at my stats, I'm getting frames lag due to encoding and frames lag due to rendering. The encoding is specifically a measurement of how fast your machine can take the image that you're producing and send it out to the live stream. Rendering is specifically the way that your machine actually creates the image that you're going to be sending out. So we're looking basically at the input and the output side of the stream. One of the pieces is putting the image together. The other piece is encoding that image to send it out. Just swaying side to side obviously gives us some encoding problems right off the bat. My Mac is not able to encode this stream fast enough to stream at 30 frames per second. And we see right off the bat that it's definitely not a problem with our internet connection. It's a problem with the actual computer. And you can also verify that your connection is good by flipping over to YouTube. And it tells me I have an excellent connection on this stream. I can make it miss a lot more frames and render lag and have all kinds of skippy audio and everything else just by kicking off one of these widgets here in Streamlabs. Then I flip back over to OBS quickly and we can see those widgets coming across the screen. And when I use my standard stinger, which is just a pretty simple door close, it's a really small file, well that causes all kinds of choppiness and problems. And if you look up here, we're still lagging and dropping frames due to encoding and render lag all the time. Obviously this is going to be garbage on a live stream. We're going to have choppy audio, choppy video. It's probably going to look and sound terrible. So now I'm going to stop streaming and we're going to go in and we're going to see what we can do to possibly fix this and make it easier for the machine to encode this stream. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our encoding preset. That's the CPU usage under the output tab in the settings. Right now we have it set to very fast. We're going to set it to its maximum speed. That is ultra fast. Now this will negatively affect the quality of your image for sure. There's no way around that. But if your machine is able to encode fast enough, you're going to do better with a really fast encoding speed than you will with choppy audio and choppy video. So if we can avoid choppy audio and choppy video just by changing this encoding speed, awesome. The picture won't be quite as crisp, but we can live with that if we're still producing a high quality stream. So we'll apply that and we're gonna go back and we're gonna start our stream again and let's see what we get. 
You can see right off the bat, we're not dropping frames when I sway side to side. It seems to be basically keeping up with everything we're doing. We're not getting the encoder error message down in the bottom left hand corner anymore. So you might think, wow, that's awesome. The problem is solved. Well, let's hold on a second. I'm gonna flip over to Streamlabs and kick off some of these widgets and let's see what happens. And you can see as soon as I kick off some of these widgets, we're getting drop frames due to render lag. And that's nothing too serious. So let's try the stinger. And you can see every time I run this stinger, my frames drop to well below 30 frames per second, and we're getting some render lagging again, which basically tells us that the computer is still not keeping up. Now, I know that you're looking at it and you see the frames come and they're a little bit choppy, but maybe that's livable. The problem is that the audio is also choppy. So let's try something else. We're gonna stop this stream and we're gonna go back into settings. And this time we're gonna go to video and I'm going to change my output scaled resolution to 720. What that means is we're no longer going to be streaming in 1920 by 1080. Our output is going to be in 720. We'll click apply and we're gonna start the stream again. Now that I set the output to 720, you can see when I rock back and forth, we're not losing any frames or anything like that. So that's good. But when we go and we use our stinger, the door close, there's all kinds of choppiness still happening here. And if we kick off some of these widgets and we take a look, they also seem to be kind of on the choppy side. Now, if you think about it, this actually makes a lot of sense. Changing our output settings actually makes the machine kind of work a little bit harder. And the reason why this is, is because we didn't actually change our canvas size. Our canvas size is still 1080. So basically what that means is the machine is still rendering the frames at 1920 by 1080. And then the encoder is downscaling those frames to 720 to output to the stream. So we're actually causing more work. So when you decide you're going to downscale, you kind of got to go the entire way. You're going to have to downscale your canvas. And I would take it a step further. You should probably do what I did. I went back into my overlay and exported it at 720. And I also resized my stinger to 720. You want to have as much of the stuff that's included in your stream in the native resolution as you possibly can. So let's go ahead and change it over so that the canvas is in 720 and we use those 720 assets and let's see what happens. Changing everything over to 720 is a little bit of a process. So we're going to go into settings and then we're going to go to video. Now we're going to change our canvas size to 720. We're going to click OK and you can see everything now is missized, which sucks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my overlay here. I'm going to go and I'm going to change the file to that 720 file. And there we go. That's going to fit perfectly into the 720 screen. Now I have to just resize my video and I'm going to resize my widgets here so they fit properly on the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and change that stinger to the 720 one that I did. And we'll switch scenes back and forth. You can see my weight screen is now way out of proportion. So I'm going to go ahead and resize all the objects in the weight screen as well. Now for this, I didn't re-render it because there's really not much else going on, but I probably should have went and re-rendered the weight screen animation as well. So now everything seems to be working right. Well, let's see what happens when we actually go live. And I rock back and forth, move my hands across the screen. We're not seeming to have any problems. If I go ahead and I change scenes, the stinger, works smoothly we're not dropping any frames there's no lag no nothing so this seems like it might have actually resolved our streaming problems now that's pretty sweet let's see what happens when we add a widget no problem big thumbs up there for sure and if i go into youtube studio i can see the stream is also in excellent condition meaning my connection is still functioning properly. So there are the things that you can do to fix choppy and laggy audio, choppy and laggy video for your live streams. I walked you through the whole process. Now you should understand fully how you can fix these problems and how to troubleshoot them, which is probably even more important than how to fix them. This video should help you resolve a lot of the problems that you're going to have that are pretty common with OBS, but by all means, it won't help you solve every problem. If you're having some kind of problem all the time in OBS, leave a comment down below. Maybe your question will be answered next.
If you want to know the best settings I've found for your live stream to Twitch or YouTube, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.